Good afternoon, everyone. Antikytherian mechanism, such great links to track the planets of Mercury, Venus, Sun, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. They even show you the clock. And which planets in reference probably had a very great effect on our Earth, inner gears and workings. They're not even sure how that happens. Speaking of Jupiter, 10x larger than normal auroras. Saturn the same, electrical frequency. Hey, I could also create the same effect with high voltage in a plasma medium. Steve is back, the filament rope, high charge in Earth's atmosphere. And perhaps this antikytherian mechanism was to mark when we have greater volcanism, greater climactic weather affecting food production globally. But in the UK, they don't even want you outside viewing the skies. This antikytherian mechanism is not a device to track the movements of the heavens. It's a doomsday clock. Saturn and Jupiter, 2024. New studies show that by the time people reach their middle ages, the body often produces less than half of the collagen it did in their youth. Collagen is the main building block in our skin, making up 70 to 80% of it. This is why we get sagging skin and wrinkles as we age. If you want to look younger, you must supplement collagen, which will improve your skin's elasticity, make it smoother, more plump, and more youthful looking. That's why Ageless Multi-Collagen provides five key types of collagen you need from four different sources, essential to optimally support an array of full body benefits. No odor, no taste, no clumping, unlike other collagen supplements. And this is why I recommend Health with Adapt 2030. Ageless Multi-Collagen, and look at that, I need another bag already. Quick way for youthful appearance, Use the link in the description box below for 51% off my favorite Ageless Multicollagen. And now on with the video. And starting off again with more first across our solar system. Interesting timing, grand solar minimum, increasing cosmic rays, electromagnetic effects, first time ever seen on Jupiter, and we're expecting massive changes in 2024. What coincidental timing. Birth of Jupiter's mysterious dawn storm. There's so many firsts happening across our planet and solar system now, but this is a 10x increase in the amount of auroral activity and the size of the auroras coming off of northern Jupiter and southern Jupiter. A 10x increase, uh, that's large. A doubling would be, wow, but a 10x increase? Great for Grant Cardone, 10x your money. Not so great for auroral activity on Jupiter. This activity is so intense that it's even beginning now to form other outer rings on top of this. So perhaps by 2024, this will be a 100x increase. What we're looking at here, that'll definitely be visible from the Earth. And a time step progression, watching how it morphs from an egg shape into a circle. And the layers start to build, especially where the red box is on the right. If you take a look at that, definitely looks like something off a canyon wall in Chaco Canyon or a petroglyph that we have seen through the millennia, and that's on Jupiter. Imagine what Earth skies electrify. And you might say, oh, that's just a coincidence, but I can replicate the same effect with high voltage in plasma. Looks like intensified aurora on a northern or southern pole, doesn't it? Saturn's showing the same anomaly, but you notice to the right or eastern quadrant, it looks like it's a frequency as it's bouncing up and down. It's in an electrical frequency, visible, increasing also on Saturn. And speaking of Earth's skies, this plasma rope Steve with this field aligned current wrapping down on itself with opposite charges. So visible now, so strong. This is apparently the largest, most visible, most intense aurora rope that they've seen to date. Now, can you imagine all of these three events on three different planets happening at the same time? And this mechanism tracks the same exact planets. Now, what's most interesting out of the SOT article here, the mystery of the 2000 year old, Computer, quote unquote, it's not clear whether the design is correct or could have been built with ancient manufacturing techniques. Yeah, how was it built? Because the close ins here of the concentric rings, the rotating wheels, but the machining perfection, just like a Swiss watch. But then it says also you need hollow axes. 
And without a lathe to shape it, you can't do it. So how did the ancient Greeks and then suddenly stop and they didn't advance the technology? It was like a one-off and they're like, no, that wasn't good enough. No, the thing to track the heavens, we don't want to build another one of those. One's good enough. But the intricacies and in tracking these certain planets, I am of the volition, this is my hypothesis of this. It is tracking when Jupiter and Saturn align with magnetic coupling to create the second torus wave in our solar system. When our sun steps down, huge bursting cosmic rays inbound to our atmosphere causing more clouds, cooling temperatures, they track this because it is mappable in the heavens. And I'll bring you back to determining the cycles for these planets in the cosmos. Now the known planets at that time, they have the moon, Mercury, Venus, Sun, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and the dates to go with it. So it's an interlocking mechanism of dates. And when you look at the dates, in red are the years that each particular set of gears trails back to before it starts to cycle again and loops in on itself for a second or third coupling. They're all in the 400 year range or so, except for Mars at 284 years. But that 400 year range puts a square into grand solar minimum. So I'm not sure what they're trying to track with that. Obviously the inbound uh, effects of the weather and jet streams with cosmic rays increasing and electromagnetic craziness across our solar system, effects that you can see visibly with the naked eye. Now to go to this much detail, this much time, this much effort to build something that was never built before, to track the two planets that are going to have the most effect on our Earth, seems a little coincidental and there's a whole other reason why they're doing this. So looking at the back full view here, there's an enormous amount of unanswered questions and how do they get the intricacies down to be able to gear that, stepping down in 480 year increments, 442, 344, they were so precise. And if you look at it in a CAD drawing format here, or a 3D layering so you could print this or create it yourself, engineering on this was equivalent to today. So I want to bring you back to the face of this thing, and this is where the most important information lies. I'm not sure how the hands and arrows indicate that we're into another one of these cycles because I know what you're seeing here. I played with an interactive version, but it didn't have all of the different hands on the dials there that are moving around. It only had the sun and the moon on the interactive version. But I'm wondering what it'll set up like in 2024 uh, when Jupiter and Saturn are electromagnetically connected and they are gonna be firing off in the solar system, visible to the naked eye from Earth. Absolutely, they will. Can you imagine Jupiter going to 100X on the aurora? You would see that in the night sky glowing blue. And stepping out to 2024, I'll show you this square that's forming. And the Antikytherian mechanism, I believe, is mapping this squaring of the planets, creating a second magnetic field that's also going to intercouple with our own magnetic field from the sun. Earth will be in the center of two interlooping toroid magnetic fields, massive effects. I am saying absolutely this Antikytherian mechanism is a clock to map the vast earth changes that crush society and set it back thousands of years in development because of more volcanism, the inability to grow food and a regular plant and harvest date. Ancient texts talk about these same tribulations coming through different periods of time that are mappable. And you know what, in the UK, they don't even want you outside spaced far, far, far apart to even look at the stars, to notice the changes in the heavens because that's what we're gonna see. Perhaps you staying inside the whole time has prevent you from seeing these increased activity of red sprites, the auroral ropes, the halos and aurora on different planets that are becoming visible. Hey, everybody, stay inside. Oh, and don't talk to anybody else either. And the continuation of control over food, your access to food, standing out line, only a certain amount of people in the store, limited to how many boxes of this, that, or the other you can buy. You're probably going to want to think about storable foods during these years because we're going through a change that hasn't been seen for at least 2,000 years on this cycle. That map that I showed you of the planetary alignment last time, 79 AD. So the Antikytherian mechanism matching up, biblical prophecies matching up, timelines with solar placement of planets in the heavens lining up. There's a lot of matchups, Hopi Indian prophecies. Everything's matching up to this time. And as always, people survive. Those that are prepared, the four-week or the two-week emergency food supply, 
They also have six month, one year supplies and the Mylar bags and everything you need. If you bought your own bulk food to get ready and store it yourself, they have the oxygen packs, everything you need. You can buy it ready-made or you can buy all of the things so you can do it yourself in your house. Take a look and they also have water filtration. My Patriot Supply, the links in the description box below as well as the links to tonight's stories and all the great images of the device and the stories about Jupiter and Saturn. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Please share your comments below. Share this video if you thought it was of interest because it's going to take all of us to figure out what's going on and then solutions to solve all these problems we're marching into. And I'll see you next time.